Justin and Leah narrowly made it out of their latest kidnapping ordeal with their lives, after Vita Nova locked them in an abandoned factory in the middle of nowhere to die. Justin was severely injured when he tried to make an escape, before Leah was eventually able to exit the factory herself and get help. Justin was found to have internal bleeding on his arrival at Northern District's hospital, with broken ribs and a punctured lung, but Bree explained that the dehydration he'd suffered meant he was too weak to undergo surgery, and that they would have to wait for him to stabilize. However, that turned out to not be an option when Justin rapidly deteriorated, and Bree was forced to take Justin into theater to give him any chance of survival. Although the surgery went well, Bree warned Leah that Justin wasn't out of the woods. He had lost a lot of blood, and the anesthetic meant that Justin now had an increased chance of organ failure. Next week, Leah is continuing to hold vigil at a comatose Justin's bedside when Bree brings news of the latest blood test results. It's not looking good, there's been a decrease in Justin's cardiac function meaning that he could have sustained heart damage. They'll need to do an echocardiogram to investigate further, but there's no one available to perform it until the next day. The following morning, Bree informs Leah that the police are there to follow up on the investigation, and so Leah reluctantly leaves Justin's bedside. When Leah returns however, she immediately panics on finding Justin's room empty. Leah rushes to find Bree who attempts to calm her, explaining that Justin has gone for the scan. When Justin eventually returns, Leah vows not to leave his side again. The results of the echo bring further bad news, as Bree informs Leah that Justin does indeed have acute cardiac failure, and they're running out of treatment options. Whilst ideally they'd like to take Justin back into theater, they're not sure that he would survive another anesthetic. As a result, all they can do for the moment is try to improve Justin's heart function with medication, in the hope that he'll soon be fit enough for surgery. But Bree has to warn Leah that she must prepare for the worst. The deterioration of Justin's heart has sped up, and she needs to face the fact that she should think about saying her goodbyes. Leah refuses to entertain the idea, telling Justin that she's not letting him go and that he has to prove them wrong. Brie later asks Leah if she'd like her to call anyone, but Leah doesn't want to at this point. Theo eventually makes his own way to the hospital and Brie brings him up to date on the situation. When he then goes in to see Justin, Leah admits that she didn't phone as she wouldn't have been able to say the words out loud. Theo is emotional when Leah reveals that she proposed to Justin, and he tries to put a positive spin on things by saying he can't wait for the wedding. With no improvement, Theo later suggests that it's time to ring other members of Justin's family, such as his daughter Ava, Annabella Wolf, but Leah again refuses. Having other people in the room isn't gonna change anything, Leah snaps. Justin is dying and nothing is gonna change that, what part of that don't you understand? The next morning Leah leaves Justin's room momentarily to splash some water on her face and breaks down, just as Alf, Raymar, arrives, having returned from his latest trip to Marimbula. She collapses into his arms in tears. As Leah, Theo and Alf sit at Justin's bedside, Leah admits to Theo that if he wanted to say anything to Justin, now is probably the time. Theo gives a heartfelt goodbye as he thanks Justin for everything he's done for him, but soon afterwards Justin takes a turn for the worse, and the machines start blaring. As Bree races in to try and save his life, Justin sees a vision himself in a church with a group of mourners. Back in reality, Bree manages to stabilize Justin but explains that his heart is failing. She asks Leah to come back into Justin's room, confirming that this could be it. In Justin's vision, he sees Theo perform a song as a devastated Leah sits in the front view, but despite all his efforts, he isn't able to make himself known to either of them. As Justin begins to crash again, he sees a gravestone inscribed with Justin Morgan, he gave up. When Leah then delivers a eulogy, she suddenly turns on Justin, calling him a coward for giving up and leaving her.